Hey guys, this is Comic You Know, and today I'm talking about Legends of Tomorrow, so let's start talking about this episode. Um, here we get to see um, the episode start with them saying, hey, let's go to 1871, let's go to the Wild West. And it's kind of random the way they do it, but they, they, they come up with, I guess, a logical way for them to escape the hunters and why the Wild West would be a good place to go. And... You know, they end up in a bar fight right away when they get to uh, get to 1871, meet up with Jonah Hex, and we learn that Jonah Hex actually knows about time travel and knows Rip Hunter. They have a past, and uh, the rest of the episode is more about this uh, contained story of trying to defeat this gang and, and Ray being the sheriff of, of the town for this episode. Uh, and then even um, Hawkgirl and Sarah teaming up and uh, meeting Hawkgirl's previous itself from the 18, uh, 1800s and, and learning that Kendra once again has this big barrier between her and Ray that um, Carter is always going to be the one for her and then if she loves someone else it's just going to end up in heartbreak and by the end you know Atomic Hawk which is kind of my ship name for them I don't know if that's the official ship name but uh, they're staying strong they are they're staying strong and they tell each other the truth when they have these barriers this is very um, different from the other uh, DC shows who love lying to each other but and they keep telling each other the truth, and, and they kind of get stronger because of it. And Kendra's like, I still love you. I don't care what my past self thinks. I care for you, and I, I want this relationship to continue. Uh, and then uh, the episode ends with them having to go back to meet their past selves because of this assassin who wants to kill them, their past selves, which I'm really excited about this because this is my personal favorite part about time travel is when you know, an older self can meet a younger self and, and see how much a character has developed. You know, for, it looks like for Sarah's character, we're going to go back to before she was on the yacht. For Captain Cole, we're going to go back to when he was a child. Uh, so these are, this is what I love about time travel. And uh, that's what I'm excited about, to show how much a character has developed. Uh, I think that's such an interesting point. So it'll be a little bit more Terminator themed where this was more Wild West themed. Um... Other C story that was going on in this episode was that Stein wanted to cure this boy and then they end up learning that he was H.G. Wells. So that's also a fun part about time travel is that maybe the time, uh, the timeline was meant for Stein to go there and to save H.G. Wells and for him to be the person he is. So uh, I thought that was a pretty interesting concept. But what do I think of the episode overall? Now I will say... I don't know if the plot really progressed too much. The, the actual storyline with Ray being the sheriff and, uh, you know, this gang they, ha they have to defeat was, I think, a little weaker. But the episode overall was a lot of fun. It was great to have Jonah Hex in the episode. I thought they utilized that character really well. Uh, and to see him actually know about time travel, I thought that was interesting. So the Wild West funness was definitely here and made this episode really fun to watch. Plot, though, again, there's a lot of similar things still going on. You have the morality question uh, with Stein, which we have seen in the past a lot of different morality questions, but I like that. I thought that was interesting, uh, and it was cool that Stein was the one who is this professor slash doctor who encounters that. Thought that was cool. Like the cliffhanger, like I said, even though the cliffhanger is very similar to past cliffhangers where they're like, we have to run from something. Oh my god, let's time travel. But I think that's just kind of the formula of the show, but I would like to have some more twists and turns in the show, which we haven't really gotten towards these cliffhangers. So overall, I thought the Wild West episode was very solid. It was a lot of fun with all the puns, but the actual storylines could have been a little bit stronger. Um, but I will say, again, I think another strong part of this episode was Kendra and Ray. Really like their relationship and I like how much they're testing that relationship but in the end they always go towards the honest route and uh, seeing these two characters at their best. So that's something I really enjoyed this episode. So of course next week I will have a review for Legends tomorrow. Really excited for that episode. Uh, like I said it's kind of my favorite theme of time travel so hopefully you guys enjoyed. This is Comic Inno. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter. Don't forget to like my Facebook page. Also, description below, there are links for my comic book, Like Father, Like Daughter. And don't forget to like the Facebook page of Like Father, Like Daughter. I'll see you guys later.